Come on, come on. Oh! Alright, hey guys, so today we are heading out to do some bouldering at FitBlock and it's their third anniversary, so they have something special in store for us. So let's head on out and check it out. So these holes that you're seeing are not actually glowing, they are just a reflection of the black light that they are using and it makes a pretty cool effect. Now honestly, I haven't been bouldering that long but this was a pretty cool experience. Just being able to climb in a different environment, a bit darker, it was really very fun. All the routes were all laid out in a very uh, entertaining way, it's not very technical for some of them, um, just for you to have fun. There were also some games where you kind of spin the wheel and you get a number and you gotta have to go and complete that route. And uh, those were a bit more technical, those were a bit more difficult routes. So I left it up to the more experienced guys to do it. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> and at the end of the day, you get a little pin as a reward. So that's pretty cool, a souvenir pin. Apart from that, I did my simple warm-ups on some easier routes and headed down to the glowy area where I tried out some of the problems there. The one thing that was different this time was that all the grades, the difficulty levels of all these boulders were blacked out so we couldn't really see it and uh, that really gave me a chance to try something and uh, you know, not be too intimidated by the harder problems. So the yellow one that you're seeing me doing is a pretty easy one but also really fun to do because there's a couple of crossovers and you got to go over this big moon boulder and uh, it's just a very fun way to do it. Uh, and the fact that it's dark makes it a lot more fun because you can't really see how high you are. The next one that I was trying was this pink one. Linus and I both were trying this one. I don't really have enough of the finger strength or the technique to get this done, but it was still quite a fun experience to just try it out. And finally, Linus had a go at this orange one, which had a really difficult start, but along the way up, it got a bit easier and he managed to do it after about, you know, six to seven tries. So finally, we ended the whole session off at the slab walls, where we could only use our feet to step on the footholds and not use our hands. And these footholds were numbered, so you had to go in a sequence. So this was pretty fun to do because you got to kind of manage your balance and also keep calm and just keep as close as possible to the wall. And uh, a couple of us made it all the way to number 12 but that was where it got really difficult because that foothold was just super tiny. Uh, Linus got away with it, he managed to do number 12 and um, I think that was the furthest he got. I think he went on to 15 or 16 after that. But Damon on the other hand, who's a more experienced climber, managed to get all the way up to I think 29, which was almost the end, but he kind of fell off at the end. But it was all good because it's all just for fun. But yeah, I think this was a very interesting experience. I think more gyms should do this kind of uh, interactive or special occasion kind of boulders. Um, it just looks super cool and it just makes everything more fun and lively and everyone's just having a lot of fun. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this very short vlog. I think um, hopefully I get to do more of these kind of uh, active vlogs. I'm trying to get into sports nowadays. Oh yeah, and if you guys want to go visit FitBlog, I'll leave all their information in the descriptions below. But thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.